Hey everyone, Just for Sweets here. So uh, I haven't been on in a while and you're getting me like, <laughs> this is my day off. So um, I have a lot of errands to do and um, this is about as much as I get ready. So uh, I'm coming on here because you guys have known me over the years. I think I've been on YouTube now for about five years. You've known me to be uh, Just for Sweets, the one who bakes, the one who cooks. Um, I've even had some entrepreneur things on here. I've had some training on here. I've had some soccer. I've had some babies. I mean, I've had a little bit of everything. Basically, this is a vlog of of my life. <laughs> um, but recently, my girls, uh, two of my daughters, I have four, two of them um, have decided to pursue uh, creating a YouTube channel. Now, both of them are stay-at-home moms. Um, they are 22 and 27. And um, I'm so proud of them and wanted them to know that I I think that what they're doing is amazing. And um, I would love for you guys to show their channel some support and love for me. Uh, one channel is called Jo Mamas. That is my daughter, Jordan. And she has um, decorating on a budget. She does a lot of cooking. Um, she has even done like some natural, like baby food type things. Um, not, she's very into the, like the natural, simple, and everything on a budget. Um, she Her videos are very, very cool, and I love how she edits them. So go over and check out Joe Mamas. That would be great if you would do that. And then I need to give a shout out also to my other daughter, Chelsea. Her channel is called Chelsea and Family. Um, hers is basically a journey of her pregnancy. She's pregnant right now about 15 weeks, I believe, or going on 15 weeks. Um, and so she's journeying her pregnancy. Uh, so it'd be great for other like moms out there that want to see like maybe what someone else is. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> someone else is going through. See if like they have similar things. Um, so it's a good way to go on there and just see what someone else is doing. She also has been doing some fall hauls, um, some grocery hauls. She has done a couple of recipes and her and her sister kind of shout out to each other. Um, her channel is also brand new. So I would love it if you could go over and check out Chelsea, C-H-E-L-S-E-Y and family. Um, I wanted to give my shout out to them. So um, it would mean the world to them and to me if, if you could just give their channels a shot. Um, spread them to your friends, share them, whatever you want to do. But they do have some amazing stuff on there. So with that said, today I'm not making a recipe. I'm not giving you a motivation speech except for the fact that I just want to tell my girls to never give up. Keep doing what you're doing. And even if times get bad, you just keep going and move on. So um, with that said, they inspired me. My So my daughter Jordan lives near me and she needs to teach me how to edit videos because I don't know how. I don't know how to use anything that she uses. So um, hopefully she's going to be able to teach me how to do that so that I can do them a fun way. Um, they've also inspired me to get back into doing things. Sorry, I'm doing this with one arm. Oh, my arm's tired. Uh, inspired me to do new things. So things like hauls again. I did used to do some hauls. I think I'd done some maybe like Costco hauls or grocery sh grocery store hauls, something like that. And so um, I wanted to, because of their new videos, they got me all inspired and I went to Target yesterday and oh my gosh, I went crazy. I mean, they literally inspired me to do so much. And I bought all this stuff and now I'm like, what am I gonna do with all this? Like, I still have so much stuff from the past, but I it, it was so fun. I just had a good time and sometimes you just need that retail therapy. So I wanna show you everything. God, please forgive this hair of mine. <laughs> I wanna show you some of the stuff that I got because it was super exciting. Now I gotta figure out how to flip my camera around. Um, but it was super exciting. So let me share with you what I got. Some people call it like the Target Bullseye Corner. I've heard that, um, the dollar section, but everything in there is one, three and $5 but it is the first section I run to when I go to Target. So I just wanna show you everything that is on this table that I'm showing you, I got in the Target, in the dollar section. So um, let's get going on that.
Okay, so here is just a few things. I mean, well, I wouldn't say it's a few. What do you think? I think I found quite a bit. I think I found too much. Um, so inspired by my children, I went to Target, I, like I said, but I've also been inspired by a couple other YouTube pages or channels, I shouldn't say pages, channels, um, and some of the finds that they have. And so one girl, I can't remember the name of her channel, but she inspired me too. And I went there looking for some of the things that she had found and boy, did I find them. So let me just give you a little rundown of what I got. So I got this really cute Halloween pillow. My daughter Jordan asked me to find pillows in that section because she had not seen them when she went. Now they did not have a fall pillow, but they had uh, the Halloween pillow. So it's really, really cute. It was $5 and it's really well made. So I have a front table and I'm gonna put this in the chair. Um, I'm gonna put it in the chair so that I can decorate, when I decorate for Halloween. Then I found this, this is a sign, you know those signs with the, like the letter board signs, that's exactly what this is. So you can see that and then all the letters, they're wood and they're in the back. So that is kind of fun because I myself have um, the sign boards, I love them. So I'm trying to prop everything up here. Um, I love them, they're great. A couple other finds, I think that this was either three or $5, it might have been, this was $5. So. That was in the dollar section at Target, $5 for the letter board. That's a great price. And I love the fact that it's the wooden letters. I also got um, these bags of pumpkins. Now I'm, I'm gonna get some kind of basket or plate to put these in. I haven't figured that out yet. These were $3 each. They're really cute. They've got kind of like little specks on them. So the white ones have little spe specks of black and then these have specks of what is it? The orange has specks of white. I like these, especially the white and black ones because my kitchen is done in Ray Dunn stuff. And as you know, her stuff is a lot like this where it's all white and black. And so I, um, I thought that those were really cute. In fact, I picked up this cute little basket and maybe this is the basket I'll put them in. This was also in the dollar section. This was $3 and they call it a just a wood basket tray. I love these things. So I might put a candle in the middle and then put the pumpkins around. I got the dishes that I just showed you. This is Pinch and Dash. And these are just cute little bowls. I really liked those um, to go with the decor in my kitchen because it's pretty much uh, matches all the Ray Dunn stuff. I believe these were $3. Yeah, these were $3. I got these cute little ceramic pumpkins. I love the matte finish on all of these. So this is uh, the gray, the white, the orange, the black. I believe they had a green as well. Actually, yes, they did. It actually matches. I didn't even notice when I was there. It kind of matches the things I've got going. This is my table runner I got there. And actually they had a green pumpkin this color. Actually, I believe it was a little bit darker. I did not get that. I was trying to just like get exactly what I wanted, but got these cute ceramic pumpkins. These were a dollar each. I believe the table runner was three or five. It's a really nice fabric. So I can't wait to put that on my table. I then got these cute pumpkin plates. Now, had they had more white, I would have done all white, but they were completely out of white. I got this one tray left. I grabbed it. It was $3. It's two plates. Very nice uh, ceramic. So I went ahead and I grabbed the green as well. These are really cute maybe for me to put desserts or snacks out. You know, I don't know. They were just adorable. We can use them for Thanksgiving. We can use them for Halloween. We can use them for the fall. So those were a great find. Uh, back here, these are probably one of my favorite finds were these uh, buffalo check pumpkins. They're kind of a foam pumpkin covered in fabric. Uh, these were $3 each. They came in different sizes, so in different, different, uh, oh, different buffalo sizes. I'll grab that in a second. <laughs> that, this is the real world, people. That's why we're YouTube. <laughs> I drop things constantly. So, okay, so there's all those. I actually got a small one here as well. Um, they had, there was only one of these left. I was so bummed. I got some sequins ones last week, but I wanted just like the fabric and this, there was one left. It was gray and actually the lid's broken, um, but I'm just going to glue it on there. It was a dollar. So I grabbed it. They had these really cute, these are metal baskets. Now you could paint them if you want them a different color. Now I don't know what I'm going to do with them, but they were, they were cool. So I got them. I got a black one and a white one. These were $5 each. Got this super cute hardwood cocoa sign. Um, 
three dollars my kitchen is done in the ray done like i told you and then i have a coffee section so i thought the ho hot cocoa sign would be great to go in my coffee section so that's more of an everyday thing than it is just for the fall but for the fall i did get apples five cents same type of thing that was three dollars really cute this is what i got off of one of the youtube uh, channels that i watched this is the wood lettering and this one i'll show you says eat and i thought that would be really cute you could either leave it the natural wood or you could paint it these were five dollars not only did they have eat but they had yum so i got both of them because uh, there was only three left and two of them were yum and one was eat so i went ahead and grabbed those and then down in here, I think we're getting close to the end. They had these cute signs and it's a two pack. It was $5, the autumn leaves and pumpkins, please. I thought these were really cute. And then this is already the Buffalo check pattern, black and white. So I figured I would put um, some kind of sticker or wooden piece in the center of it and display it. And I might even paint the frame, I'm not sure yet, but for right now, I just thought it was super cute and a good find for $5, you got two signs. Um, in the case that I decide to make something for my girls, um, I got a C and I got an S for their last names. Um, I need to go back. They did not have a lot of letters. They didn't have my letter, but I grabbed these just in case. If not, I can take them back. These were a dollar each. Then they had these super cute wooden stickers, which that would be really cool for me to put in the center of that as well. So I got pumpkin patch. I got apple picking. I got Palm Sweet Home, Hocus Pocus, these really cool, oh, those would be cute in the middle of it too. They're really cute, uh, sparkly, I love these, like the sparkly glittery apples, I love glitter. And then there's also just the plain um, wooden ones. These are all adhesive, but you can glue them down as well. So those were a good find. I believe the sheets were $3 each, yes they were. So I grabbed all the sayings that I could. The only one I didn't grab was Trick or Treat but I grabbed everything else. Now for the very last things, because I grabbed those wooden things, the wooden letters, I thought I could make some signs. So like I got this arrow and I believe the arrow was $3. I don't know, I can't find, oh wait, yep, it was $3. So I got the arrow, I figured I could paint it or leave it how it is and I thought this one would be super, super cute. Um, probably paint it because of the letters and put pumpkin patch on it and then hang that on my door or hang it wherever, you know, wherever I think it goes. I thought that was a great idea. Then they had a wooden apple. Now this is a really pretty good size apple. I love the way it's already painted. There's nothing to do to it. And I figured that the apple picking would be super cute on the apple. And you can either prop it up or you could, it has a thing um, that you can hang it on the wall. So super, super cute idea there. Then this was my favorite, my favorite pumpkin find. Look at this, I love the colors of it already. I wouldn't do anything to it at all. And with that one, you could either put the pumpkin patch, but I kind of like the home sweet home for that one. So that's why I grabbed that one. I then got a white pumpkin because they had it. And I also have an orange one that I found a couple weeks ago there. So I have all of those now. That's what I'm talking about. Like I wanted to make some for my girls, but um, I'm not sure yet. So I thought Hocus Pocus would be cute on this, or you could put the pumpkin patch on either, you know, either way, it doesn't matter. You can move it all around, fun, fun stuff. So that is my Target shopping haul. The candle was not included at Target. I actually got that at Bath and Body Works online and I got that on sale, so it was pretty cool. But I just wanted to show you some of the fun things you can find if you really look and if you time things well. Oh, I don't think I showed you these little guys. These were my little lantern pumpkins. Look how cute these are. So they had two different sizes. I grabbed both of them. I loved them. And then you put your little tea light in the middle. So I'm gonna find a place to put those. I believe these were $3 as well. Yes, they were. So make sure you go to Target. You look in their dollar section or their bullseye section or whatever it is, and you can too find some of these great finds. The thing about Target is you have to grab them when they're there. If you wait until the end of September or October, this stuff is probably going to be gone. It will be very picked through. So go and find your scores. I'm glad um, to be on here again. Shout out to my girls, Chelsea and family, Joe Mamas. Check them out for me. Give them a thumbs up, subscribe. And until next time, next video, God bless everyone.